there's something on my forehead. Long time no see-ish. Um, and also I'm quite aware that this was one of the more recent videos that I did on my channel. Um, but I'm going to be in M this evening. It's a horrible, hideous, rainy, windy, cold, awful May afternoon. I've just finished work. I work from home, so I'm in my cozies. And I have just been sitting here thinking, how am I gonna cheer myself up? Because the life is bleak. Um, I mean, look at the weather. Ugh. So I thought that I would take myself down to B&M and um, they're open till eight o'clock this evening. So I'm just gonna get my raincoat on, head down, that will cheer me up. I'm gonna spend some money. I don't need anything. Well, I do, I need a few like cleaning bits, but I am also like gonna be open to take inspiration to what the B&M gods decide that I need. So I thought I'd take my camera so you can have a look as well. So let's go. Hello, so I did actually get rained off last night. So when I got back from b and I was like hauling my shopping bags up the road, got rained on, my makeup got rained off, my hair was not it. So I thought I'll film it today. So it's a day later. I've got two carrier bags, which I didn't intend on buying. Although I did, although I didn't. I only really needed one thing, but I knew that I could be persuaded and I was. Um, I've got a few like mundane bits and I've also got some beauty, some homeware type stuff. Um, and I also have the receipt. So I paid in total 34 pounds 78 for everything that I got. And there was a bottle of wine in here, but I saw to that quite quickly when I got in last night. So that's not in here. So because I do see myself as a bit of a wannabe Mrs. Hinch lately, um, I wanted to do cleaning products first. So I'll get the most boring one out of the way. Sponges. Uh, these are a pound. They have the scourer on one side. They're a yellow on the other. They're sponges. I need say no more. The next thing I got was the flora, which I use everywhere. I mop the floors with it. I clean the bathroom with it. I clean the table with it. I clean the skirting boards with it. Um, I wipe down most like flat surfaces. And this one is lavender scented, which I've not used before. So I'm excited for that. And this was also a pound but it eliminates all of the bacteria and viruses and everything. And it also smells lovely. Um, you can also mix it in with your laundry detergent, which I will not need to do because I found this humongous, uh, massive sized Lenore. And it's a scent that I've not actually heard of before. It's the violet flower scent. Um, to be honest, I was just sold on the packaging, which is typical of me, but I've never seen like a, a nice blue and white one. Mm. It's supposed to smell like violet flower. I don't know what violet flowers smell like, but it's a massive pack, so that'll last me probably all of two and a half weeks in this flat. <laughs> and then to go along with that, I got my big aerial. This was $3.99. The fabric conditioner was $2.99. I like this one because it doesn't have the plasticky capsule things. I find that when I use those, some of the plastic just sticks to my clothes when I take them out, so it's quite gross. Uh, but you just squirt the liquid into the lid and chuck that in the wash. And then the final piece of cleaning householdy stuff. I got these lavender scented toilet blocks, which I've never seen before. I'm deeply, deeply hoping that they turn my toilet water purple. And I hope that they smell nice. There's something, I really, I love toilet blocks. Uh, but sometimes I find definitely the green ones. I never buy the green ones because I think that they make it smell awful if someone's been in there um, and then it mixes with that smell. So hopefully these will be lovely and they'll keep the toilet nice and clean. And they were only a pound. So now I'll probably move on to homeware. I did pick up a few homeware bits. So I picked up two new mugs because all of the mugs in the flat are really mix and match. We don't have any the same size. So I find that if me and my boyfriend are having a cup of tea in the morning, I'll have like a huge mug. He'll have a small one. So I thought it'd be nice if we had the same size. So these are cute. I chose these two colours, although they did have other colours. They had like an orange and something else, but I'm more into my pastels. So I got the baby blue, which has elephants. And I also got the pink, which has flamingos. And these were £1.99 each. And they're a really good size. I love a, a nice big mug. Please don't come to me with your tiny thimble sized cup of tea, please. And then I also picked up this really soft, lovely bath mat, which has get naked written on it for $6.99. So I've I've seen these. I'm sure this is a dupe of the Urban Outfitters get naked bath mat. 
and I've actually got from B&M as well I've got a sign in the bathroom that says get naked so it's almost kind of like a like a running theme it kind of matches so I think that's nice I'm a bit wary of the fact that it's white um, but it should be fine at least it won't show up all of my hair at the moment we have a black bath mat which I love and it's like one of the noodle ones which is quite nice on your feet but my blonde hair comes out and you can just see it all over the bath mat which is kind of gross before I move on to beauty I also and I never do um, I actually stopped and looked at some of the food and like the pantry type stuff and I saw these on another girl's video because I watch a lot of B&M hauls on YouTube so I saw that they do these like grinders and um, this one is garlic and chili salt and this one is garlic and herb salt and she said they're really nice on fried eggs um, I love garlic so I can never have enough and I just think they look really good so I'm gonna give those a try and these were 69p each so if they are as good as she said I'm really excited to try those and you can actually see the ingredients in there so it looks like it's real and then beauty wise probably my favorite aisle I got myself some new dove beauty bars which are they're not a soap but they kind of behave quite similarly to soap so I did say in my last B&M haul that I like to double cleanse because I'm a sweaty beast and it's locked down and all I do is sit around in my pajamas all day festering on the sofa so what I like to do is wash my body with like a bar of soap and then I'll go in with a moisturizing body cleanser to try and restore some of the moisture in my skin but if I don't use a bar of soap I don't feel like I've cleaned properly and then I saw the original source this is my favorite scent of this and I've had this loads of times it just smells so lovely it is cherry and almond milk this was only 90p this is a moisturizing shower milk so I'll soap myself and then I'll milk myself I'm pretty sure I bought these in my last B&M haul but I got some more of these L'Oreal makeup wipes. I hadn't tried them before my last video, um, but I've run out of the ones that I bought before and I just think these are, are good. I use them sometimes if I'm being a bit lazy at the moment and <laughs> I'll use them instead of my micellar water. But sometimes what I will do is I'll use a makeup wipe, then I'll use my micellar water and then I will go in for my proper cleanse. But I just think it's handy to have makeup wipes around. I also use them sometimes if I'm doing my makeup and I do a winged eyeliner right into my side burn so and then the final thing I got was this big huge size of the Provoke touch of silver brightening shampoo which I use to keep my hair a nice ashy shade of blonde it's for use on like grey and silver and blonde bleach blonde hair and it just gets rid of the orangey yellowy look that can come sometimes if you don't use a purple shampoo this one is a really really concentrated one it's almost black when you pour it out onto your hand if you leave it on for a bit longer you can actually tone your hair a bit more violet if you're feeling brave and i have had violet hair in the past and i might be tempted but also i am normally pink so when you are using pastel tones and you're using like semi-permanent dyes it's always good to make sure you've got a really pale ashy base otherwise the pink might come out looking peachy or if you're using a blue it might come out looking a bit more green so a purple shampoo is absolutely vital if you're a hair bleacher such as myself and that was 3 dollars and that will last me a good couple of months so that was my B&M haul I hope you enjoyed it I hope you didn't find the first few things boring because I don't know if I'm a weirdo but I love watching people buy their cleaning products so <laughs> and also my homeware stuff and a few beauty bits as well and also food I might actually try having a look at the food section a little bit more in the future I know most of it is just like cereal and non-perishables and some of it looks a bit naff and some of it looks a bit suspicious but I think there's a few gems to be had although watch this space because the next time I speak to you about B&M I might say that I've tried those salt grinders and I came out in a rush but thank you so so much for watching thanks for clicking on my face try not to leave it so long next time but I hope you have a lovely day and goodbye and farewell and see you soon